Hi there, DW Berman here. I just wanted to uh, make a quick video because I'm really busy with other work, but uh, I saw on the Lightwave forums that Con973 was uh, asking for a fill mode, for instances, like you put an object and you say, fill this with uh, a grid of points, and uh, we don't have that functionality quite yet, but uh, Michael here suggested using the uh, fill solid tool and modeler, but, uh, you know, it it's, doesn't give you... Uh, controls for even spacing and sorts. So here's my solution. Uh, here's what I came up with. And this is what we are going to be making, this little creepy armless bunny thing here. So let me uh, pop back over to Modeler and I'll uh, delete all this stuff here. So uh, and we'll just start with my rabbit here. So what I want to do is I want to fill this up, this up with points. So I'm going to come over here to my Utilities tab, and I think this is new in uh, Lightwave 11, or sometime recently added. It's a Fill Solid. It doesn't not a very descriptive name. It's Fill Solid. What it does is you click it, and it adds points. It fills this object up with points. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of controls for it, so I'll just have to basically keep doing it until I see enough points in there. And I'm just going to keep basically doing this over and over and over and over again until this is really full and luckily it's just a click of a mouse the way the menus work here or you could put a button on the interface so what we have now is a bunch of points um, I'm gonna select all of my faces and hide them and I'm gonna copy it's gonna X I'm gonna cut actually cut the points out and paste them into a new layer and that layer I called array now Here's the trick. Um, we have our cloud of points, but they're not evenly spaced. I mean, wireframe. Uh, what I can do, though, is I can go to the do, 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 Modify tab. Under Transform, there's a Quantize button. What Quantize will do is that'll put the points to in, in a grid. So I'm going to set this to 0.25 meters, so 250 millimeters. Hit OK. And I'm going to hit M for merge because I don't. I have overlapping points now. I don't need all those points. See, see, I got rid of uh, 1,308. And now, this last, I'm going to go to this last layer, which I have named pixel, and I'm just going to make a box. And uh, I'm going to call it. I'm going to make the size of that 0.25 by 0.25 by 0.25. And this time, I'm actually going to add a little smooth edge, just because I can. And hit enter, and that's at the origin. I just centered it by hitting F2. And now save, and back over to layout, synchronize, switch object to layout. And there we have our bunny. Now the way I set this up is in the scene editor, I basically turned everything off. I can turn all these off. It looks like I have extra layers in here now. Let's just start from scratch. Um, let's get rid of all of these. Yes, 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 yes. I should have hit all, but I'm talking and doing this at the same time. So, modeler, this time just send object to layout. And now back in layout, I should see I have a pixel bunny array and that you can't see because it's all just points and a pixel bunny pixel. So I'm just going to uncheck these and hide them all. Now with the... Uh, Pixel Bunny Array selected, Objects, Instancer, Add Instancer, double click that, that opens my instancing panel, Add Object, the thing I want to instance is that little box, the little pixel, so let me uh, put that in there, and this just controls the visibility, I want solid. Um, the type is going to be points, because I have uh, an array of points that I made. And I'm just going to click max points, and that'll make one pixel for each point. And there we have it. There is our our pixel bunny. Of course, I haven't animated this or anything, so I don't know exactly how that'll react. And if I uh, switch back to VPR, you can see I have this fun little uh, bunny out of an array of boxes. So, um, yeah, that's it. Real quick video this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you will consider looking my, at my tutorials that I have for sale on liberty3d.com and also subscribing to this page so that uh, there is this channel so you can uh, get updates when I update. Again, I'll probably not be posting a video uh, next week or this week. 
well, for until September, but I don't know. I might. We'll see. But I'm pretty busy, and I'll be traveling, so I don't know if I'll get a video up next week. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.